Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another broadcast. Today I wanted to talk about activist writers Mark Wade and Dan Slott, or more specifically, their culpability for declining interest in Marvel Comics. Here's the deal. Mr. Wade and Mr. Slot act like political psychopaths on social media platforms, and a huge chunk of potential Marvel customers are sick of it. Every single week on Twitter and Facebook, there are good people whose only mind crime is disagreeing with Mr. Wade and Mr. Slot on public policy issues, who are demonized by the two men, and obviously like-minded activists. The election of Donald Trump has highlighted just how big of a problem this is. And for the record, I will preface this video by noting that I voted for Gary Aleppo Johnson as a protest vote, so no one accuse me, can accuse me of being blindly pro-Trump. Take Mr. Wade's recent Twitter activity. Mr. Wade randomly screams at Donald Trump, often abusing the caps lock key, and then acts incredulous when comic fans tell him to cool it. He recently said, if you lost, there would be car bombs going off on every corner. Then on voter fraud, he tweeted, it doesn't exist, you moron. He likes to throw out the word fuck as a noun and adjective as if that gives his anger any more legitimacy. He calls Donald Trump a mutant pumpkin and then acts as if people who disagree with him are all, quote, neo-Nazis. Where do I even start with this? I guess I'll mention the fans that told him to pump the brakes, because calling people fucking freaks in a fit of rage just comes across as a bit crazy. Or the other Twitter user who said he was coming across as unhinged. Mr. Wade's response, he cops an attitude. He shot back, really? How does it come off? Educate me. Even weirder is that he'll go off on political tirades and then have the nerve to say, a lot of bullies coming, coming to me on Facebook. Note to Mr. Wade, you are the bully. You are the one abusing the caps lock button and screaming into the digital ocean like you're Tom Hanks in Castaway, and you've lost your mind talking to a volleyball. You issue blanket statements about 60 million Americans and frame them all as neo-Nazis, and then when they try and tell you that you're not acting like a rational human being, you block them. That is not healthy. The fact of the matter is, is that there is plenty of voter fraud that goes on across the country. It happens in places like Florida and Colorado and New York and all over the nation. The fact of the matter is that the only people who are causing violence and breaking property are those with Mark Wade's worldview. In Portland, Oregon, Oregon most of the protesters didn't even vote. But yet they think it is a rational decision to go to car dealerships and smash windows. Guys like Hollywood director Joss Whedon are literally using coup-like rhetoric. This is unhealthy and downright insulting, which is why thousands upon thousands of people like me will not pick up an issue of Avengers written by Mark Wade. Of course, Wade will say, fuck off, to me like he has done to other fans, which is his prerogative, but sane people in Disney's and Marvel's front offices should be appalled that their writers tell sane people to fuck off when they politely say, hey man, I am not a neo-Nazi, I'm just really sick of my healthcare deductibles going up every year. The same goes for Dan Slott. The guy literally deactivated his Twitter account after the November 8th election and some sort of childlike temper tantrum over Trump's win comes back shortly afterward and then on the day of the Ohio State terror attack, all he did was make weird comments about Donald Trump. A Somali immigrant runs over 11 people with his car and tries to kill them with, with a butcher knife, and yet Dan Slott is so filled with rage over Donald Trump that he ignores it and keeps playing partisan games. The nation was transfixed on, transfixed on the people who just had sharp metal jammed through their kidneys in an Islamic terror attack, but yet Dan Slott wants to warn all of his Twitter followers how Donald Trump is the most evil guy in the world. Why would anyone want to line Dan Slott's pockets with cash if they were politically independent or conservative? Heck, Liberals should be disgusted with guys like Dan Slott and Mark Wade because it's exactly this type of behavior that pushed Trump over the top. When Dan Slott deactivated his account a couple weeks ago, he said he had, quote, no idea what happened. Yes, exactly, because you have no self-awareness. 
a squirrel has more self-awareness than Dan Slott and Mark Wade. And again, when someone tells him that he is acting unprofessional, his response is to joke about it and act like the reader is the one who is unreasonable. If you want to know why the comic industry is suffering right now, look no further than guys like Dan Slott and Mark Wade. Their online activism is toxic. It is poison. It is the type of thing that pushes away sane people because sane people have friends and relatives who exist across the political spectrum. And they don't like it when someone like Mark Wade calls their libertarian brother or Republican sister a, quote, neo-Nazi just because the person doesn't think Donald Trump is the reincarnation of Adolf Hitler. The only way to deal with this is to push back against these people online and in your local community. Yes, they will block you, and that's fine. But the more people they block, the better, because all those blocked people start talking on other forums, and then, like Dan Slott, they have a known reputation. People know that these writers claim to be tolerant, but in truth, they are are intolerant. They lash out against bullies when they are the bullies. A man cannot go on a giant fucking freak tirade on Twitter and then play the victim when he gets angry feedback. It doesn't work that way. Anyway, that's about it for now. Feel free to sound off on Mark Wade, Dan Slott, and the rest of the comic industry's activist writers and artists in the comments section below. And as always, check out DouglasErnestBlog.com if you've liked what you've seen here for more coverage just like this.